Bill. Did the president urge the chairman to hand over Abdul Mujib? As I said, the president urged the parties to abide by the terms of the ceasefire, and he reiterated the United States' commitment to the peace process. Katie. CJ, an AP report out of Gaza says the president threatened to withhold more than $100 million to Palestinian NGOs unless the chairman handed over Mujib. Well, I'm not going to get into the details of the diplomatic exchange. There'll be more on that tomorrow. I'm told at this moment the House is getting ready to vote on the override of the president's veto, and I know you'll all want to cover that. Since this is the president's first veto, I thought it might be helpful if we brushed up on the rules. Sherry, can you tell us how many votes it takes to override a veto? I'm sorry? How many votes does it take to override, Sherry? A majority. Actually, it takes two-thirds. Yes, a two-thirds majority. Yeah, 290. And how many votes does it take to sustain? That should be easy. You just subtract 290 from the total number of members in the House and add one. How many people sit in the House of Representatives, Sherry? Okay, maybe you can get the notes from a classmate. That's all, guys. I'll see you in the morning. They're meeting in the Oval Office. Thanks. CJ. Hey. That was totally uncalled for. Yeah? My competitors are going to show that tape every local station in Were town. Were you crazy? That thing's going out to 154 affiliates. Look, I changed I just... my clothes because I didn't think it was appropriate to talk about the death of two teenagers while wearing a ball gown, and you knew that because you're stupid, but you're not stupid. You know what I'm saying? Security's going to take your press credentials. You'll call my office every day, and I'll decide if you get into the room. I'm taking your spot on Pebble Beach. You can do your stand-ups from Lafayette Park. Oh, One more word you... out of your mouth, and every local station in town but yours gets an exclusive with the president. Hunting season on me is over. And the chemical abbreviation for table salt is NACL. <laughs>